new feature that's available in version 13.2 of PLS CAD is Web Mapping Services, or WMS for short. To demonstrate this, I'm going to use an example project here. We'll go look at the plan view. And what WMS does is it pulls in aerial imagery for a project. It's accessible under Drafting, Attachments, Attachment Manager. You will see a new button here called WMS. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And WMS takes advantage of servers of imagery. Now we have a lot of servers that are pre-built into PLS CAD to choose from. You can choose world imagery or one-foot imagery from the U.S., uh, street maps. Uh, you can choose uh, wetlands. That's very nice for looking at transmission projects. For this example, I'm going to choose the world imagery. Once you pick your server, you can choose query the server. Once you do that, you'll see some information on the data that's available as well as the layers. This is a very simple WMS server. There's only one layer of imagery. Um, if you'll notice, some of the defaults pop in down here, the desired resolution in, in feet per pixel, and the tile sizes. We'd recommend leaving those on the defaults uh, when you do that. Uh, you can choose wherever the, these images will intersect the project. Uh, you can choose wherever the uh, plan view extends, whatever's on your screen. Your whole screen would completely fill with imagery. Uh, if you want to choose a limited uh, rectangle of longitude and latitude, uh, this is nice on a brand new project where you don't know where your line's going to be exactly, and you just know you, you want to pull in your imagery of the overall area so you can lay out your line. Since this is an existing line, I'm going to take advantage of pulling in all imagery within a certain distance of the alignment. I'm going to go ahead and just choose 1,000 feet so I have a nice wide corridor of imagery and it will fill out my plan and profile drawings very well. Uh, you can choose for weight for the import, uh, which will import the images a little faster. Uh, we'd recommend that you just import the images in the background. Uh, there's a chance in the future versions it may not even have the option to wait. It just may be the import in the background. Once you do this, you can go ahead and click on Import, and you may have to wait for it to start looking at the server. It's found all the imagery, and it's starting to pull those in right now. There's a lot of variables in this, depending on how fast the servers are. If they're, hitting, if they're getting hit very heavily, it may be a little slower than normal. Uh, this is nothing that, that Powerline Systems has any control over, so uh, you can do that. Once your imagery starts loading, you can go ahead and continue to work in PLS CAD as you normally would. The imagery would just be loading in the background. As you can see, some of the tiles are starting to come in here as we're painting around in the plan view. You can also work in the profile view or do anything else that you might need to do uh, while you're waiting for the imagery to download from the Internet. If we go back and look at the plan view. We start to see some of the images coming in a little more as we wait here. Once you've downloaded your imagery, you can use it just like you would any other imagery that you've attached in PLS CAD. For example, if you were to go to the 3D view, or you've got your 10 rendered, you could go to Terrain, 10, Display Options, and instead of Color by Elevation, you can choose Color from Bitmap Options, and that will drape your aerial photography over your imagery, over your 10 here. If you were to zoom in and look at this, for example, you would see <coughs> How, since this is an existing line, you can see the existing towers right underneath where our design towers are and everything. Also, if you were to go to your sheets view, your planner profile sheets would be updated with the latest aerial photography from whatever server that you may have. There's lots of WMS servers that are available. Uh, in addition to the ones that we have pre-built into PLS CAD, you can uh, use your own. Uh, if you have a custom server, for example, uh, just a quick search on the Internet, and we found a uh, National Weather Service WMS server. And so we can go into the radar server here, copy that shortcut. When we go back into here, we can say, hey, use that WMS server from the, from the weather, National Weather Service. Uh, we would query that, and we can see that we both can both get the uh, uh, weather as well as any warnings or advisories. Maybe not something to use on too many projects, but that type of technology can be used on any project that you might have.
If you'd like to learn more information about our software, you can see our website at www.powline.com. If you'd like some information about our software, you can contact us directly at info at powline.com. And finally, if you would like to purchase our software, you can contact our sales team directly at sales at powline.com. We look forward to hearing from you soon.